I mean, when you, when you look at the conversation on wage bill and exporting labor, do you think that perhaps um, the Kenyan youth who constitute a huge percentage of our population mm -hmm. are quite interested in taking up entrepreneurship as a venture and means of survival. Because um, on the other side, while Hustler Fund will be able to you know, start you off, say at 3,000, mm. uh, by the time you're increasing, mm. it will also take time. It will also mean that your business idea mm. needs mm. to uh, be viable enough so that you also, as you're talking about manufacturing earlier on, mm. so that you don't just be a business person, you become an entrepreneur. Do you think that perhaps the timeline and the circumstances as they are right now, especially for young people with the high unemployment rates, they are, they are you know, interested in pursuing entrepreneurship and taking up MSMEs. Entrepreneurship actually is a self-employment opportunity, okay. you know? And uh, um, like I said, the biggest problem we have in this economy, in Kenya and across the continent is unemployment. Mm. And I also dare say that the average age of an African uh, person, you know, African citizen in the continent is around 17 years. Who, where is a 17 years? Still in school. school, okay? So we have a, a problem on how do we make use of the youth bulge. Mm -hmm. So there's so many things that needs to be done. I, I, one, from even our training, now that uh, uh, you see like the outlook which I've shared, yes. we only have a room for about currently of about 3.5 million Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Where do we take 17 million Kenyans? So we need to work also on uh, our training uh, mm -hmm. and capacity building a framework so that we start channeling out skills mm -hmm. that can quickly be enterprise. Okay. So when you are graduating, we start now also making you understand that you need to be mainstream in the job creation environment. Mm -hmm. That actually, as you walk out of college, as you walk out of the university with mm -hmm. a degree certificate, addition to that, we need to empower you mm -hmm. with tools of now going outside there and creating your own job. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing in my sector, other than Hustler Fund, and by the way, it's not only Hustler Fund, mm -hmm. which is there in this sector. But also there is the so much in commercial banks have uh, no but uh, yeah. no before you even go to the commercial bank yeah. within my own state department for example mm -hmm. we have agencies and and within the ecosystem of MSME look we have the youth enterprise fund mm -hmm. today young people can be able to borrow even for LPO if they get tender they can borrow even up to 5 million yes. for LPO we have Kenya Industrial Estate, which is supporting young people interested in the manufacturing mm -hmm. sector. Uh, Those uh, MSM who are doing oh, What's the rate of you know, young people getting these standards, especially from government? Are they at, um, you know, as, because to avoid also this thing of Kazuko uh, Vijana Pesa Koaze, are they, yeah. uh, what's the rate of young people, I mean, in the normal age group? Mm -hmm. getting tenders, good tenders, yeah. you're talking about, say, uh, from 5 million and above. There is opportunity for that. Remember, um, for close to now, more than actually almost, uh, um, I'll put it almost two decades mm. now, when the government uh, started uh, mm. the, this preferential procurement, you know, procurement uh, treatment mm. towards certain disadvantaged group. Mm. Remember during uh, President Kibaki's time, mm. it was about 10% mm -hmm. of access to uh, uh, procurement, government procurement opportunity to young people. Mm. Then when the Uhuru uh, came in uh, 10 years ago, and now probably 11 years ago, mm. they scaled it up to about 30% for youth, women, and persons with disability. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have come. If you look at the compliance report across all our MDAs, because you are now talking about government, you'll find that indeed young people mm -hmm. have been accessing. Access, yeah. But also because of lack of visibility, which I was talking about, about earlier. Mm -hmm. I would earlier, because what do we use Okay. To, to, you know, what is the indicator? The indicator, of course, is the AGPO certificate. Uh -huh. And you see, mm -hmm. I, can re I can have the AGPO certificate, the, the female, mm -hmm. you know, the women, and uh, 
you know, the youth. The youth, yes. But you see, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. if you've been given tender, what uh -huh. will be recorded there will be okay. like, okay, this number of company mm. that are owned by youth on paper, on paper. we may not know if mm. they were really youth who okay. eventually mm -hmm. benefited or if they are women. But now that's what we are correcting. Okay. Because part of my mandate is Let's, to enforce uh -huh. AGPO and to ensure that yes. indeed we follow up and it's young people, mm -hmm. the young, young people, it is women, mm. it is persons of disability Literally. who are the end beneficiaries. So if you can hold on that thought, we listen to uh, a caller, some feedback coming in through our call-in.